Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, amigos, <laughs> friends. <laughs> friends, good evening, classmates, you say. Good evening, friends, good evening. Uh, if you yeah. have if you have a group a group of people you can say my partners yeah. my co-workers my colleagues es que se me corto circuito el cerebro <laughs> it's friday good hello good uh, buddies that's another one right mm -hmm. buddies are yeah. like que tal cheros mis cheros my friends my partners my people, I always, <laughs> that's how I call my friends. They are my people, I say. Every, every time I, I, I see them or I get together with them, I say like, hello, people, I say, you are the people. <laughs> that's the, the thing that I have for them. Yeah. Well, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope that you have had a very good day. Uh, busy, crazy crowded with a lot of traffic but uh, it was I think it was better than other Black Fridays I think people are learning how to deal with that I don't know yeah. if it's if it's my perception but I feel that it was easier I, I think uh, the people don't have money teacher <laughs> well that's uh, something that we have always had that people never have money for anything. But uh, when they say offers Black Friday and stuff, they always go like crazy, right? But I think they are learning how, how it really works, right? That they are not offered at all, right? Maybe in, in, in the United States because they have all these products before Thanksgiving and what they sell on Black Friday is the left. I mean, what they have left Todo lo que no se vendió antes de Thanksgiving, that's the offer, right, for Black Friday. And for sure, it's a lot cheaper than, than the normal price. But here in El Salvador, it's like, pongamosle 500 y valía 320, right? An offer, say, and then you go shopping, right? Offer. Uh huh. Nothing like an offer, right? Mira, dice 40 meses. <laughs> but you never imagine that you're going to be paying for the television for 40 years. <laughs> I'll be like, come on, come on. And, and, uh, mira, yo le abono y le abono a la tele y nunca salimos. <laughs> for sure. I mean, you, you end up paying like $3,000 for a TV. And that is like, that's like the joke. Like, vengo a pagar la cuna. Le. Usted es el papá, le. no el niño. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is the same thing for, for Black Fridays, right? So, yeah. So I, I you always... Did you go to buy, teacher? Sorry? Did you go to buy today? No, anything. No. Well, <laughs> I went and, and I, I, I stopped buying in Mr. Donuts but because I went to do something near Salvador del Mundo because I work near there. And even in Mr. Donuts, they say black friday six donuts no eight donuts for six dollars and i was like well i took some donuts for my secretary for my colleagues and for the lady of the cleaning for the janitor so i took donuts for them and i was like i don't i the i i, I, I don't know only in september i didn't know that I didn't know that. that, that uh, from Mr. Donuts? Yes. No, I didn't know either. I, I went because I wanted to buy something else. Right? Uh, I, I Because my son uh, likes the the donut holes. Los, los, los holes de, de donuts. Lo que venden en una cajita. I don't know if you have seen them. No. But they are very good. So my, my kid likes them. And I went to okay. look for them because, I mean, I want to buy some for him. And then I saw that and I said, like, nice. I said, I, I like this Black Friday. <laughs> so <laughs> but all, all the people in the office were very happy with the donuts. And they said, yeah, donuts. And they were very happy. So I think that that pays a lot. When they say, hey, let's see, I was like, yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead, enjoy. 
do the okay. okay, but prepare coffee. I said that's the only thing that I need. <laughs> prepare coffee and then enjoy your donuts. But yeah, they have Black Friday thing. No, I I remember I I only went to one Black Friday like seven years ago, and it was crazy. No, and there were no offers at all. So I said, nah, not anymore. I said. So I had never gone back. I think it was the first time they did it. Well, my dear class, today I sent you an exercise for you to practice uh, irregular verbs in simple past. I, I hope you, you did it, right? It was just a matter of grabbing and dragging the verbs. It is a good way to practice, right? If you didn't do it, you can do it later on, right? It is um, a very simple exercise just to drag and drop, right? And if you can see on the page that I sent you, there are many more exercises, right? If you want to do any other one, I can just send it to you, don't worry. Or I think you can go and, and try it out on that page. Yesterday, I also sent you another web page uh, for you to practice listening. Uh, I, I sent you one yesterday night for you to practice listening. And it is a very good site. It is Randall's listening site. There you have for basic, easy, 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 a little bit uh, pre-intermediate, then you have intermediate listenings, then you have pre-advanced, and then you have advanced listenings. All the exercises have other exercises for you to complement the listening, okay? All the audios have different uh, exercises for you to complement them. So it is a very good way to practice, right? You can just play the listening and do the exercises. They are very good. And for sure, uh, I, am, I, I send you like little games for you to practice the language as well. Uh, right now, I am going to send you one. I am going to send you a PDF. Let me just uh, look for it. I am going to send you a PDF with a lot of exercises on past tense, okay? It has all the explanation, the grammar, the exercises, and I am going to send it to you so you can have it. You can practice on these days that you are not going to be in class, but uh, you can keep exercising, you can keep practicing. And uh, for sure, it is a good way for, for you to do it. So. I, I always, I know we are always busy. I really know we are always busy, but uh, <clears throat> find a moment for you to practice, okay? Because it, that is going to help you a lot. If you find a moment to practice, it is going to be very beneficial for you. Okay, let me just find it out to send it to you. Chan, chan, chan. Let me see. I think it is this one. Yes, I am going to send you this one. Let me show it to you. I am going to send you this material. In this one, you have a lot of practice for a simple past, right? Here you have was and were, you have exercises, right? You have exercises, you have readings. You also have a past simple in the irregular forms, right? You also have it there. Also, you have a negatives and questions. That is the one that we are going to practice today. Negatives and questions, right? A lot of exercises, a past continuous. That is, a, I was doing, I was watching. It's like present continuous, but in past. And the only thing that you change on this one is the verb to be that you don't say, I am cooking, but you say, I was cooking, right? And it is an action that you were doing in a moment in the past, right? So you also have a past continuous and you have past continuous versus past simple, right? I was cooking when you arrived. I was cleaning when you called me, right? The two actions, right? 
cuando una cosa estaba pasando, pero otra la interrumpió, right? I was sleeping when you appeared, right? It was like, ah, oh, hey, how are you, right? So uh, you have these uh, verses, and I think that's it, right? I have all the forms of past, and I'm going to share them with you. Right now, I am going to send you this PDF to your WhatsApp. Let me see if I can do it because no me vaya a salir con que esa pesa mucho. And for you to have it, right? So you can practice. You can practice later on during the days that you're going to be free without teacher Nati. Si no me sacan del grupo, ahí lo voy a estar fregando. Study, practice. Do this, do that. <laughs> so there you go. There you have it. Essential grammar. That's your Thanksgiving gift, okay? Ahí se los dejo de regalo de Thanksgiving a todos. Okay, good. I send it already. And here you go. So you have it there. And uh, here you go. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's start, my dear class, with what we were doing. And for sure, uh, today we are going to finish working in the manual. We are going to finish working in the uh, exercises in past tense. So get ready. Do you have your manuals with you? Because we are going to use it. We are going to work in all the exercises that are missing. Welcome everybody to the class, okay? Hoy empezamos con todo aquí, poniéndolos a trabajar. Exercises. How was your day, people? Tell me a little bit of what you did. Today, not many of you sent me the audio. What happened? I was waiting for more and more practices and I just heard a couple of them. What happened with the other ones? A ver, cuéntenme en past tense por qué no enviaron el audio los que no lo enviaron. Uh -huh. Tell me. I was busy, teacher. I was doing this. I was doing that. Uh -huh. Why didn't you send the audio? Because we are in traffic, they say, ay, 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 ay. Okay. I didn't, teacher. Why? Uh, because that's the, I remember I have a lot of work. And, okay. and at the end, I didn't. <laughs> I, didn't I, I, send... I, just, I just remember that I was busy, you say. <laughs> okay, okay. Huh. <laughs> Hey, I will forgive you. I will forgive you. I just remember that I, 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 I was busy, teacher. I was busier with something else, right? Uh, sorry. Uh -huh. I tried to do it uh, early in the morning. Uh -huh. But for some reason, the connection was unstable. In, it was unstable. 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 Sorry. And... And the day was busy. I imagine. Yeah. Okay, but now you are sharing with me how was your day and why you didn't do something, you see? It is a practice indeed. Good. Yeah, but okay. We have a big problem uh -huh. right now. I can tell us what happened, but uh, it's a transition uh -huh. inside the company. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, and my boss, uh, my my boss, uh, mm -hmm. uh, asked for information all the day, and I I I have uh, tengo que I I have to I have to uh, do it do it the the reports all the day all the day. oh my god and, and just only but absorbed all, all my time 
I imagine, right? Yeah, transitions are difficult, right? When you yeah. are doing everything new or you want to, or they want to know everything. <clears throat> it, is, it is curious that in some cases they say like, the, the boss that it's on top of you, it's like, tell me about this. It's like, you should know about this more than me, right? <laughs> but I mean, that's that's our job. And it's like this and that, right? It, it happens to me that, for example, my boss asks me things that he already asked me before. And I, and I answer on WhatsApp over what he asks me. And it's like, como le dije aquí en este día. <laughs> And I just repeat what I said before, right? It's like, okay, okay, Nati, give me a report on that. Over this report that I send you this day, ah, yeah, 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 ya me lo mando, es cierto. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it, it is complicated. It is very complicated. But, Magdiel, did you have another day off today? Or not? Yeah, I lost Mac, Mac Diel. I know, here, here he is. Not the chair. No, no more days off. No more. Only okay. yesterday. Only yesterday, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Well, my dear class, Antonio, you have a new a scenario today. Oh, Antonio está en, otro, en otra location. It's very serious today. Ah. No, Candy Crush is for later, don't worry. <laughs> He's very busy. I, I am a racer, the, the, the messenger for the, to, today I go to the, my, my grandchildren. I know, and I, I don't know in my home teacher. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. I will forgive you because you work with your grandchildren and grandchildren and grandparents. It's a good relationship. My, my grandchildren is, is crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's very happy. It happens. Okay. It's very energetic. You say he is very. very energetic. Is it for in my home? One, one children. Is it for five white children? I'm oh sorry. my god. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Yeah. But don't tell him crazy. Tell him that he is energetic. Okay. He's hyperactive, but not crazy, right? Later we believe and that's the problem, right? Después uno anda creyendo que uno es loco, right? And then we say, we, Yeah. And today, something very funny. Well, I'm going to share a little bit about my day. I was telling my mother that she was like uh, bragging about her Christmas tree, right? And she said like, oh, look at this. And I, I did my Christmas tree and everything. And we have some uh, Coca-Cola ornaments that are very old but very nice, right? They are like little teddy bears. And we have like 15, right? That we always put on the Christmas tree. So my son told my mother, hey, grandmother, are those mine? And she said, yes, my love, they are yours if you want to take them. And for like 20 or I don't know how many years we have been asking for them. Okay, todos los hemos pedido. And no one has ever gotten one. And it's like, no, porque son de la casa y son los adornos de la arpa. And my son just like, are they mine? Son mío, Jawe? Yes, you can take them home. And I was like, what? <laughs> we were not even allowed to touch them. But now he's the baby. And I was like, come on. So I lost all benefits over, over the things of my mother. And she said, no, they are for the baby. Now, so... As you can see, benefits. So grandchildren are important. Spoil it, Antonio. Así el energético todo ahí. Consiéntalo, vale la pena. Let's focus on the class. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Would you consent my grandchildren? Nothing. No. Well, in English, you call it pamper. Pamper, like, like, like pampering. Like, like, como el pamper. Like pampering. Pampering, the action is consentir. I am pampering my kids, you say. Do it, it's important. Well, today we're going to work a lot on the manual. We're going to practice the exercises there. And we're going to start today with uh, Hank and Eric. Yesterday, I kind of introduced this conversation to you. And uh, it says, hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Uh, yes, I did. 
Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. I will be, it will be ready tomorrow. Uh, great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Uh, yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual, right? So in this conversation, we have, uh, who, are, who do you think are the two people involved in the conversation? Who do you think are the two people involved in the conversation? The, uh, the two people involving in the conversation are Hank and Eric. Uh-huh. But what do you think are their uh, positions uh, at job? At the job? Me, uh, professions. Uh -huh. the positions. Okay. Uh, is one of them is the salesman. Uh-huh. And the other one, who do you think it is? The customer service. Customer service, right? But do you think one is the manager or one is the, I don't know, the employee and the manager, the employee and the boss? Because one is asking the other one for reports, evaluations of the product and something. So for sure, maybe one of them is, is the manager. And the evolution for the product. Uh -huh. So he asked for, the, for an evaluation for information about the product and the other one was the one who went to get it, right? El otro fue el que le tocó hacer el mandado, right? So in that case, <clears throat> Hank didn't go to buy the things. It was Eric and Eric was the one in charge of doing it. So maybe Eric is just the employee and Hank is the one in charge of customer service or maybe the manager of this one. To what kind of customer service he is referring to here? ¿A, ¿A qué tipo de customer service se está refiriendo aquí? ¿Al de la empresa de ellos? Or to the other enterprise where he went to buy? Which one do you the think? The other company, their, uh, he buy the, the, the part. The spare part, right? What is the meaning of a spare part? The sewing machine. Okay, a spare part is repuesto for the sewing machine, right? Maybe it's for a factory, right? Maybe it's for a factory or something like that because the sewing machine is la máquina de coser. Okay, so all of you are Eric and I am the one in charge of uh, the company. <clears throat> Tell me, students, did you buy the spare parts for the sewing machine? Yes, yes I did, Miss Nati. The, the price, price was $78. $78, good. Okay, I need the valuation of the product. Oh, the, oh, new, product. the new product. Of the new product? Aha, uh -huh. you doubt and you say, of the new product? Of the new product. That's right. It will be it ready. Will be ready. It will be ready tomorrow. tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you or did you go buy it downtown? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I went, went to get, get it, it by myself, myself downtown. downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. In this case, when you have the question. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? There is like a little mistake on this conversation because you have to answer first. So you say, I got it myself. I went downtown to buy it. Okay. You have to give an answer to, uh, to the two questions first because in this one says, yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Okay, so I, I will change it, but it's okay, right? You understand the idea. So, okay, good. All of you are Hank and I will be Eric now. Go ahead. Hi, Hi teacher. Uh -huh. The part for the swinging machine. Okay. <clears throat> Ustedes son mi jefe. Me van a llegar a preguntar así. Compraste la parte, corazón, para la máquina. <laughs> no, right? 
You go, hi, Nati. And, and the question, right? It's like, I need an answer. It's like, corazón, mi niña, hermosa, preciosa, compraste la parte que te di. No, right? They don't go and talk to you like that. They, hey, Nati. Hey, Nati. Hi, Nati. Hello. Uh -huh. Aquí estoy yo existiendo en mi trabajo. Go ahead, boss. Vamos, jefe, dígame. Hi, Nati. Did you buy the spare part for the swinging machine? Hi, Nati. For the what? For the swinging machine. For the singing machine. For the what? Can you please? Sewing. Sewing. For the sewing machine. Because the sewing machine. Okay. The singing machine is like the. No, right? It's not a singing machine. Okay. Sewing machine. The sewing machine. Okay. Sewing machine. Okay. Hi, Nati. Did you, you buy the spare part for the sewing for machine? machine? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did, boss. The price was $78. Okay. okay. You need to evaluate the of, of, the new of the product. Of the new product. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, it will be ready. Let me see. I have many things to do today. It will be ready tomorrow. Yes. Right. Great. Great. You ordered you order the line, line or did you, did you buy it? Buy it? Oh, no. No. You see, I, I, I took a bus downtown. I went near the cathedral in San Salvador and I got it there. How was the customer was service? The customer <laughs> <service>? <laughs> Horrible. But, yeah. Anyway, no. <laughs> they, they were very busy, so they didn't attend me well, but I, I got it what I needed. So it was good in the end. Anything else that I can help you with, boss? No, that's all for today, Nati. Okay. Great job. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm working here. Is it of the new product? Mm, okay. I will do it. Right. It is funny when you ask for reports in El Salvador. Is it like, ah? Huh? Report of what? Huh? Of what you do here, your thing? Huh? Okay. Mm. Para cuando? <laughs> for tomorrow, for right now. Ay, mire, me va, fíjense que ahora tengo tal cosa, mañana tal cosa, el jueves es el cumpleaños de mi gato, no puedo. Tal vez para el 2023 lo voy a tener listo. <laughs> And then you don't work on anything. Please, people, be responsible with reports. They are important. Yesterday. But it's for yesterday. They say. <laughs> Tell me, what did Eric need to buy? What did Eric need to buy? Eric needs to for buy a, a spare part. For the sewing machine, right? The for spare the sewing part machine. of the sewing machine. What was the price of the product? It is $78. It? It was $78. It was very good because it's done, right? It's over, right? It was $78. How was the customer service at the store? It was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. Very good job. So in this one, we were practicing a lot yesterday about was and were, right? And in this one, we have a couple of questions with was and were. We have two examples, one for singular is and one for plural are, was and where. What is the example question for was? Was the training interesting? Was the training interesting? Yes or no, right? Yes, it was, no, it wasn't. In this case, we have just no questions because if, if you think, if you think about this, in present, you have, is the training interesting? Yes or no? All the questions that start with was or where have the option to be answered with yes or no only, right? We only have this option, yes or no, right? Uh, were you happy when you were a little kid? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes I was, so you say. Were you a good student? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Sometimes. Sometimes. 
Was your first boyfriend or girlfriend good looking? Uh -huh. Good looking. Worse is, is better, teacher. <laughs> Okay, good, good looking is, it's bonito, o sea, bien parecido, guapo, guapa, right? What's the first one, the first boyfriend or girlfriend you had, good looking? For me, she was. <laughs> <laughs> we learned from the mistakes. <laughs> we learned from our mistakes, you say, go on. <laughs> Just like, yes, she was, or no, she wasn't, or yes, he was, or no, he wasn't, right? <laughs> it was like, later in life, when you look back and you say like, hey, okay, what was I thinking about? ¿Qué andaba pensando en esos tiempos? <laughs> yeah, so, yes or no, that was the only reason, right? Let's see. Was your first job interesting? Was your first job interesting? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. What was your first job, Raul? Mm, it was in a small, let me see the name, the, the small uh, advertising agency. But okay. I'm very small. It was very small. I remember oh. they they don't have good a good culture. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so good culture the, inside the company, right? And that's I think that's the worst. Yeah, the company can be nice and great and big and everything, but if the culture is bad, mm, all is bad. <laughs> everything is bad. Nelson, was your first job interesting? Mm, no, it wasn't. What was your first job? Mm, my first job was um, as a technical support in Avianca. Oh, okay. Tech support in Avianca. So it was not interesting for you. Mm, the job, yes, but uh, the culture. <laughs> The culture, yeah, I, I like that one, right? The culture, the environment, maybe. Yes. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, when you transform the questions and you add any of this, and let me just make it clear here. For example, when you add to any of these words, any of the WH questions, what, where, when, who, why, how, you transform them into information questions, right? Open question. Yeah, you transform them into open questions. Because if I ask you, what was the training about? You have to give me details. Right? If I ask you, for example, who was your first teacher at school? You have to give me names, right? Why were you late for class? You have to give me reasons. How was your first job? You have to give me explanations about it. You have to give me details, right? Where were you born? You have to give me a place about it. If I tell you, when did you go to university? You have to give me a date, a specific time. So you have to give more details. If the question starts with any of these WH forms, you have to give me more info. But if only start with was or where, you can say yes or no, and that's it, right? So uh, that's the difference. That's the difference between these two. But for example, here, I am going to go here on this one. Let me just erase my writing. And it says in this first part, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare ES. The price was $300.
the brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. I need you please to create questions from these paragraphs. Create as many questions as you, as you can from this paragraph. We are going to practice with one and you are going to do it with the second one, okay? Vamos a hacer la práctica de las preguntas con este. Y ustedes van a hacer las preguntas de este, okay? I am going to ask you some questions about this ones. Okay, <clears throat> I am going to divide the paragraph into different sections, into different sentences, right? For example, the first sentence that we have is this one. Then we have, I bought the reads parts that were requested. Then you have another one. The price was $30 each, right? They were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly, okay? Examples of questions that you create from here. ¿Qué preguntas podríamos hacer sobre este párrafo? I am going to do the first one. When did you buy the spare, the, yeah, the spare uh -huh. part? Okay, when did you buy the spare part? And you have the answer here on January 2nd. Okay, what other question could you create? What was the price? What was the price? Very good. What was the price? Any other question? Sure. And mm -hmm. the question, uh, the questions that we have to make is using WH. Uh, WH, you can say yeah. was or where. No, you, oh, can, you okay. can use was or where. Yeah. In past, okay. for sure. Uh -huh. Was the machine work, working properly? Very good. Excellent question. Was the machine working properly? Any other question? Where did you bought where did you bought the the part? Aha, uh -huh. do you have the information here? Yes, in the read in the read parts. Um I bought the read parts that were no sorry. No, because uh -huh. reads first is not the the, the read the read uh -huh. yes mm -hmm. no but you can have a question what parts did you buy uh, okay what parts did you buy ah the read parts the reads parts that were requested right oh, okay. any who other install, who installed the 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 sewing machine. Who installed it? Uh -huh. Un poquito, pero todavía aguanto. <laughs> uh -huh. Do we have the information of who did it? Tenemos quien las instaló. No. No, right? It doesn't say. No. It doesn't no. say. But we can say. We can say. Where mm, the parts is uh, the installed. installed? Where the parts Parents installed? The, yes. The, in the I machine. Uh huh. Good because we we can assume we can assume that the people from the I, I don't know the electricians or someone did it, but in the paragraph we don't have that information. That is something that you can assume, right? No, Rafael Alexander installed them because he's the one who knows. But in the, in the paragraph, we don't have any information. Any other question that we can create? I what one. machine needed the part? What machine needed the parts. The parts. Uh huh. What machine needed the parts? 
Uh -huh. the, the reads parts. Uh -huh. No, but what machine needed the parts? ¿Qué, qué era, ¿Cuál era la máquina que las necesitaba? Sewing machine. The sewing machine, right? The sewing machine. The sewing machine. <clears throat> and we can ask, for example, here. Another question. Were the parts requested? Mm. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, they were, right? Because it says I bought the Ritz parts that were requested, right? What was the price? Another form of question for the price? ¿De qué otra manera podríamos preguntar el precio? How much? How much? How much? How much? Very good. How much what? The price. The price. How much? The price. And how much the, the price? Per, no. The no. How much it was? We are missing the verb. How much was it? The, how much cost? The part. Uh -huh. Parts is plural. How much? Okay. Where? The the parts. The parts. How much were the parts? ¿Cuánto costaron? Because the parts, it's a plural form. So you have parts in plural. So you need the plural verb. How much were the parts? Oh, how much? We can have another form here. How much did the parts cost? How much did the parts cost? We have another form of question. And I think uh, we can say here, what was the name of the parts? What was the name of the parts, people? The Ritz parts. The Ritz parts, right? The Ritz parts. And What's the meaning of Ritz? Okay, good question. Let me ask a friend that knows. Yo no sé, pero tengo un amigo que sabe todo lo que yo le pregunto. <laughs> it's the dictionary. <laughs> you need to have good friends like that. I think it's just the name of the parts. But... Okay, let me just... Let me just... Uh... Okay. The red parts. Chun, chun, chun. It's is the spare parts. Yeah. Son repuestos. Quack. <laughs> the red parts. And the yeah. It's another way to say spare. The Ritz, uh -huh. Yep, spare. Another way to say repuestos. <laughs> Thank you, Google. That was a very complicated definition. <laughs> the Ritz, the Ritz parts. Okay, but I think, let me just check a different one. Right now, I need you to start thinking about the other paragraph for you to start creating your questions. Because, okay. No, that's another thing. Okay, <clears throat> spare parts. In this one, we have here, a very similar paragraph, but this one is the one that you are going to create yourself, right? This one. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed, okay? I am going to leave all these questions here. I am not going to erase them for you to get, for you to get, get an idea of how to make them, okay? Follow the examples and create your questions, okay? Lo vamos a hacer individual para ver si eh, hemos agarrado la idea de cómo tenemos que hacer las preguntas. 
Okay. Because in the group we say like, ah, fulano sabe, él que las haga. Fulano acá, que las haga. Hace las voz, ¿cómo van? No, individually. So try to do them uh, in your notebook and you can share them on the chat when you have a couple of them ready, okay? Pueden comp compartir en el chat al menos tres preguntas, okay? But right now I need you to make them first. Primero necesito que las hagan en su cuaderno, en una página ahí, en una paginita. Write them, make sure that you have all the elements. And then you can share them, okay? Go ahead. Teacher. Yep. In the, in the case when, when we create a, a question, for example, in this case, uh, if I say, when did you buy the, the spare part, but in the, in the first rectangle, uh -huh. uh, when did you buy, uh, I mean, I, I only, can I only say, when did you buy it? You or, can say, when did you buy it? it? Yes. Or I need to uh, be very specific. Well, in this case, as we are doing the examples about a paragraph, you can say, where, uh, when did you buy them? Because you are talking about the parts, right? But if you say, when did you buy them? Y si solo la lees así como, when did you buy them? Cualquiera que la leería diría, ¿qué? But, but uh -huh. why them? Because parts is plural. Porque them, en este caso, estaría reemplazando la palabra parts. Ah, Cuando okay. las compraste, las compraste, porque dice, I bought a spare part for the printer at a spare ES, right? If you have, for example, ah, no, this is, sorry, I was focused on the, on the next one, right? This is singular. When, but in, in any case, when did you buy it? When did you buy it? Si solo la lees así, sin leer el párrafo, Tal vez dirías, when did you buy what? When did you buy the spare part? It can be to be specific. But in the real life, if you are having a conversation, imagine if I am telling you, yes, I went to, uh, to I don't know, part plus to get this and that and that. And where did you buy it? Ah, in part plus. Yes, because you are following the conversation. Si ya okay. tenés el contexto y ya la otra persona sabe lo que estás hablando, it's okay. So you can say, where did you buy it? And it's a good question. And sorry, sorry, I was checking on the other one. The other one is plural, but in that case, it will be them. And in this one, it will be it. Okay, okay, thank good you. Good question, go ahead. Hey, I have questions on the chat, that's good. When did you buy the spare parts for the printer? Good question, Alaida. Create more, please. Very nice. Just make sure that your question has all the elements. Good question, Alita. Okay, meanwhile, I am going to open the attendance people to call the attendance today. Continue working, don't worry. How was the customer service? Good. What did you buy on November 1st? What did you buy on November 1st? Oh, many things. I bought many things, specifically spare parts for the printer. Okay, go ahead, write them down and then you send them on the chat. Don't worry if you make a mistake because that's the purpose of the exercise. Ese es el propósito de este ejercicio. Que veamos y corrijamos. 
What was the date the parts were purchased? Very good. Where did you buy the spare parts? Very good. Where did you buy the spare parts? Good. What was the date the parts were purchased? What did you buy on November 1st? What was the brand of the spare parts for the printer? Very good, very specific. Nice. Okay, keep on sending your questions. I will be more than glad to check them and listen. Okay. And meanwhile, I am going to call the attendance as well. So please, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay, my dear class, keep working on the questions while I find my group. My goodness. Here we are. Okay, thank you. Continue writing the questions in the chat, please. I I will be reading them. A lady Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Andrea Sofia. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. I Carlos. am driving now. Be careful, be careful. Carlos Eduardo here. Cesar Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present teacher. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio. Hey, Horacio, ¿qué ha pasado, niña? Pónganle en el chat a Horacio, por favor. Horacio, ¿está bien? <laughs> Juan Francisco. Pónganle en el chat ahí, Horacio, ¿dónde estás? Te extrañamos. Let's see, Carla Guadalupe. Carlita Flores. Ah, Carlita también anda perdida. Miren, ¿qué ha pasado? ¿Qué ha pasado? Ok. El último día se me pierde. José Luis. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Present teacher. Paola Elena. Paulita. Paulita is here, but she cannot answer. Alexander. Present teacher. Uh, Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto. Mr. Wilber. Wilber, where are you? Okay, Jasmine. Jasmine. Susan, teacher. Hello, Jasmine. Eh, hoy nos toca el one-on-one, -on -one, así que nos quedamos un ratitito después de clase, cinco minutitos, okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. And MacDiel. Magdiel, el lunes le toca su one on one. Usted será mi último participante. Okay, teacher. Thank you. It will bless you. It will be a pleasure to be at the last class. Okay. Yes. I, I don't want to think about it. Si no, aquí nos ponemos a chillar todos y que no sé qué. Ay, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tienen que ensayar el, 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 el baile de la escuela, de adiós muchachos, no sé qué. Me voy a mi escuela, que no sé qué. Los de cierre de despedida. Rafael, yes. Uh, uh, Rafael debería de llevarnos a Taco. Yeah, uh -huh. good thing. A yeah. la despedida. <laughs> a la despedida del salón. <laughs> a todos. Rafael no tendrá un microbús por ahí que le estorbe. <laughs> a little, yes. a little yes. bus. A little, a little bus for the 20 oh. of us. <laughs> no, yeah. no problem, no problem. I have the the the, the band, the, you say. You see the uh, attack. 
And the group? Saturday. Yeah, we, we can yeah, go there. On Saturday, on, oh, oh, I go to the Guatemala, Saturday, Saturday. Ay, mire, pues. Ya nosotros haciendo planes y usted que se va para Guatemala. Hi. No, 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 no. I go to the group, the student, the group, the teacher, I go to the Guatemala. Hey, oh, that's one nice. day. No, but we can do it. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Like one day, one day. No, let's do it. I mean. <laughs> one day in Guatemala City. Mi vida, no. Ya me imagino. Qué bonito. <laughs> Miren, les dejo todo aquí, yo me voy para Guatemala, lo siento. Adiós. Si les dan permiso, bueno, los que tienen que pedir permiso, tienen que hacer una semana antes. Los que no tienen que pedir permiso, nos vamos. Ya, ok. De estar hablando, vos sos el primero. <risa> Ahorita va a meter solicitud, dice, para ver no. si permiso. <risa> en este momento, el Nilsson va a ir a mandar un mensaje al jefe inmediato de don Rafael, dice. Ahorita le está invitando a todos los del grupo. Ahorita le está redactando ya el permiso. The bus. The no. phone is the wife. <risa> ¿Cómo? No, you see. No, you can take your wife, Rafael. Don't worry. No <risa> worry. No. Los que, lo que tienen esposa y esposo tienen que pedir permiso 15 días antes. Los que somos solteros. No hay problema. Ah, ay, ay, yo, ¿Y ese cuchillo que viene atrás de usted? Tengo cuidado. <risa> no, el, el, no, un cuchillo que le van que a tirar. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 let's continue sending this. Okay. Oh my God, you know, this no has, se salgan del guacal. <risa> this has been the most, the most like um, uh, op open-minded group that I have. <risa> Se deja, no se lleva, Blanca. Mentiris, teacher. Ay, ese no se lleva, Blanca. O sea, hello. Ya vengo, and that's it, right? That's the only thing. I know. My husband likes this class. Okay, no. Continue writing your questions, people. Questions. What brand are the parts? Good. What was the experience when you bought the spare parts? It was a beautiful experience. The parts and I. I have bad connections, as Paulita. Why did you like the customers? You see, I have here, wow, Cesar, nice questions. Have you checked the questions that Cesar sent in the chat? He has a whole bunch of questions. And the first one says, when did you buy a spare part for the printer? Good. Um, in this case, you cannot use a in plural, right? When did you buy the spare part? You can say the spare part for the printer. Where did you buy the spare part for the printer? Good. What was the price of the spare part for the printer? What was the price? Uh, did you like the customer service at a spare ES? Why did you like the customer service at, right? And what did you buy on November 1st at Spare ES? Good, Cesar. You took all the questions for the group. That was a very good set of questions. What was the customer service? Ah, sorry, how was the customer service? Good job. Nice, nice way to create the questions. I really like the ones that all of you created. The ones that Cesar created were very complete. So that was a very good form of questions. In most of the questions, right, in most of the questions, what you have to be very careful is that you have all the elements of them, okay? That's something that you have to be very, very careful because in some cases you have good questions, but you don't have the verb or you have good questions and you have the incorrect auxiliary. So we need to be careful about this. How much did the parts cost you? How much did the parts cost you? It's good. How was the customer service? That was a very good question. So it says, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the, pr uh, for the printer at Spare ES. Where did you buy it? You have the name of the company. When did you buy it? You have the date, right? What did you buy? A spare parts. How much were they? How much were they, people? In the first paragraph, how much were they? 
dollars. Three hundred dollars, right? What brand were they? What was the brand? It was Ridwell. Ridwell, good. Was the customer service good? Was the customer service good, people? Yes, it yes. is. It was? It was. It was. Great. Yes. Great. It was great. It was not it good, was teacher. Great. It was great. Right? It is even better, right? No fue bueno. Fue super bueno. Fue excelente. Right? It was not good. It was it was great. Uh, did you receive all the information that you need? Did you receive all the information needed? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, we received all the information that we needed. Yes, I did. Information for what? For, <laughs> About the uh, For yeah, the, but, yeah. Uh -huh. For, for uh, technical. Uh, okay. In this case, we say the customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. Uh, Sorry, sorry. What happens? What happens when you go shopping, for example, here in El Salvador? Imagine if you go to Vidri, if you go to Freun, right? You start asking questions, right? And, and is it good for this one? And how much is it? Do you have another color? Do you have this? Is it good? Is it resistant? Is it good plastic? And then you start asking a lot of questions, but a lot of questions. And then, bueno, ahí voy a volver. <laughs> And then you don't buy anything. <laughs> it's like, ya regreso, right? I need to get cash, you say. No, but we accept credit card, don't worry. No, no, I need I need to get it from, from another ATM. But we accept big Bitcoin, Bitcoin as well. No, but I don't have it in the wallet now. I don't have internet. It works without internet. No, I, I will come back. <laughs> it's your the good the good excuse that i always used is oh it is so beautiful it's perfect but i need in another color and you don't have that color <laughs> yeah first you need oh, to ask what's... what color, yeah what color do you need <laughs> lo tenemos yeah. en otra sucursal se lo puedo mandar no i don't want it anymore <laughs> yeah it is like i I really like this one, but I will ask her if she like it and then I will come back. <laughs> and it's like, let me take a picture of it. That's what I say. Mire, le voy a tomar una foto, se la voy a enseñar y si le gusta, vengo. <laughs> My husband has to take the decision. I cannot do it by myself. <laughs> and I am single teacher, come on. <laughs> That's what I say. When people ask for money in my house, I say like, no, fíjese que no está el señor de la casa. <laughs> I say, and I am the one in the house. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think it was on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday was my day off. There was a person knocking on my door like, ah. and I was like, what's going on? I said, and I, I, I went, I just opened the window and I said like, yeah, what do you need? And he was like a very well person, very well dressed. And he said like, yeah. And he gave me a whole story about money that he needed. And I said, fíjese que no está el señor de la casa. Yo solo la cuido. No tengo dinero. <laughs> because he looked very well dressed. I mean, he was like, hmm, gracioso. I said. Pero no gracioso de risa. Gracioso de raro. <laughs> he was like, hmm, curious. But then, uh, so all the information that you need, all the information that you request when you want to buy a new product. So in this one, we have a, another simple practice about a, the past tense, and it is another interaction. This last unit was full of interaction, a lot of conversations, but it says, hi, Eric, how's it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis, I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. What is the meaning of knowledgeable? Um, what word, teacher? Knowledgeable. This one. Knowledgeable. Ah, knowledgeable. let me see. Knowledge, knowledge. The speaker. 
Aha. The, the speaker. Ah, is when someone is very smart and he share his knowledge with another person. Yeah, that he knows a lot about the topic, right? Yeah. And know it all. That's different. When you say and know it all, it's a different thing. Knowledgeable is a person that is intelligent, knows a lot, and he can share. But uh, knows it all. I okay. He's a know. I know it all. And know it all. It's a person that uh, thinks that he th uh, knows everything. <clears throat> and know it all is like, for example, un sabelo todo. Un sabelo todo. But in the in the bad part that you say, for example, ay, fíjate que ayer fui al cerro verde. Yo he ido al cerro verde. Bien bonito. Sí, ahí me he quedado muchas veces. Y conoces, sí, ya conozco. Ya conoces vos. No, yo he ido. Yo he ido muchas veces. Yeah. And it's like, ajá, okay, 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 okay. Mira, fíjate que ayer comí pay de manzana. Yo, yo hago. Yo los he hecho. Yo los compro. No sé qué. ¿Qué no? They, they always know everything that you, that you have done, that you have said. Everything. That's a know it all. It's like, I can do it. I know. I have experience. And maybe they cannot do anything. Right? But I know it all. That's uh, in the bad side. Knowledgeable is when a person knows a lot about a topic, right? He has a lot of experience. Did he provide examples on the of the topics he talked about? Uh, yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. People who start late and they say like, solo le voy a robar cinco minutitos más de su tiempo. And it's an hour. <laughs> And it's like, oh my God. <laughs> so when you start late, you have to finish on time because you were the one late. So keep it for your job thing. Okay, si en su trabajo usted es el que llega tarde o empieza tarde, termine a tiempo. Respect the time of people. I like the introduction and this is very common in our country. Hi, how is it going? How is everything? And so like, I just fine. Thanks for asking. Ah, yeah, nice, beautiful. And then questions. <laughs> it is like in WhatsApp, right? Hello, how are you? How's the family? How is everything going? Uh, well, I have missed you a lot, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of introduction. And then favor. And it is like, dime el favor de un solo. <laughs> And it's the same case here. Like, Hi, how is it going? How is your family? How is life? Everything is fine. Thanks for asking. Ah, you're welcome. Nice. How was the training? Explain me everything. <laughs> and then you need information. So I will be Mrs. Lewis, right? Wait, I don't have my glasses. Let me just get them. I will be Mrs. Lewis and you are going to be Eric. Okay. Teacher, before we start uh, being Eric, could you please pronounce again knowledgeable? knowledgeable. Yeah, there you have it. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay. okay. There you have it. Okay. So you are, <laughs> before we start being Eric, I like that one. Before we start being Eric, go ahead. I will be Mrs. Lewis now. Hi, Eric. How is it going? I need information. Hi, Eric, how is it going? Hi, students, how are you going? Hello, Miss Nati, I'm just fine. Only, a, only a lady that is fine. What about the rest? Hmm. Hello, students, how are you going? Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Mr. Nati. Mr. Nati, come Please. on. Okay. <laughs> hey, hombre. <laughs> Ni que tuviera bigote, Miss, come on. It's Nati. Hello, students, <laughs> how are you going? Hello, Miss Hello, Miss Nati. I'm just fine. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. How was the training? Oh, it was excellent. Ah, my ears, my ears. Escucho okay. borroso. Escucha <laughs> borroso. <laughs> Mi color favorito es el cuatro. Okay. Hay, que, hay, que, hay que cerrar los ojos para no ir tanto. 
<laughs> Hi, students. How are you going? Come on. Oui. Hello, no. Miss Natty. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> You're most welcome. How was the training, people? How was the training? It was, it was excellent. It was very knowledgeable. 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 I'm very sorry. <laughs> Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yeah, yes, yes, he did. And, and he used, used the computer, the computer to provide, the computer to provide, to provide examples. examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, well it was some minutes late. He, late. Was he, late. Late. he left late. very late. He left very late. Very late. Because you are you you don't like that. And you say, like, I mean, we left very late. <laughs> it was like, mm, mm, mm. okay, go ahead. <laughs> now no, I am no going. <laughs> <laughs> es que es justo, o sea, los micrófonos son tan sensibles. It was funny. Yeah, I know, I know. Los micrófonos son tan sensibles que creo que se los sacaron de alguna camisa. <laughs> El Antonio estaba comiendo churro, eh, la <laughs> ¿Cuándo? Yo no he comido nada. Ahí estás comiendo todavía. <laughs> Don't fight, niños, ok. Go ahead, one, two, three, you start the conversation. Nadie escucha borroso, ahora todos escuchan bien. One, two, three, go. Hi, teacher. Hi, Nari. Hi, Nadi. How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? <laughs> you know, uh, my, my name, is... it sounds like this. How, Nadi? Okay. It's like, what? Hi, Nati. Nati. It sounds better. Hi, Nati. Better. <laughs> How is it going? Uh -huh. Hello, students. I am just fine. Thank you very much for asking. It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable about the topic. Knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Well, you know, he was some minutes late. And then we left very late. So I didn't like that part. But anyway, <laughs> what can I do? I am just a normal human. <laughs> Thank you very much for asking me. Very good job, my dear students. It was a fun conversation, definitely. Mi número favorito es el azul. What kind of event did Eric attend? What kind of event did Eric attend? It was a training. A training, right? He attended a training. What did the speaker use to provide examples? What did he use to provide examples? He used, he used a computer. computer. He used a computer. Very good. And what did Eric not like about the event? The speaker was some minutes late. The speaker was some minutes late and... He left very late. Very late. Right? That's what he didn't like about it, right? So in this case, we have a <clears throat> questions with did, starting with did. In this case, they are also yes, no questions, right? They are yes, no questions, but they don't start with was or were. Because in this case, we have other verbs that are important as part of the questions, right? In this one, as you can see, we have provide as the main verb, right? And let me see, in this question, I have two examples here. Did the speaker use a computer? Did the listeners ask questions, okay? Cuando usamos preguntas, en este caso, en pasado, con did, we have a different verb, okay? Aquí tenemos otro verbo que es importante. In the other ones, we use was or were, and that's the verb of the question, right? And the structure that you have is like did, subject, the verb, and the complement. Did you use a computer? Did you study English before? Did you go to a bilingual school? Did you go to university? Right? You can create different questions. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. So here we have eight different questions. 
Can you help me to create them using did and the verb? What about the first one? It says, meet your boss yesterday. Meet will be the main verb of the question. So you, you need, uh huh. Your boss yesterday. Yes, very good job. Why didn't you change the verb? Por qué no cambiamos el verbo? Because I used the auxiliary did. Very good job. That's why we didn't change the verb. So in the other ones, the only thing that you need to add to all these questions is the auxiliary. Did. Did she attend the July conference? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Did he pass the test? Did you have fun? Did it start on time? Did they leave early? Did he arrive, right? To all of them, the only thing that is missing to add here is, I am very bad on writing with the mouse, but I am doing my best, did. Did you, did she, did they, did he, did you, did it, did they, and did he? What is the good thing about this type of questions that you don't change the auxiliary? You use did for all of them. Did your mother, did your father, did your sister, did they, did it, right? You don't change it. You use did for all of them. So it is a lot easier, right? Not como en el simple present que tenemos que usar do or does or was or where. In this case, you use did for all of them, right? Did you, did he, did she? So what would be the second question? ¿Cómo le haríamos la segunda pregunta? Did, did she attend the July conference? La número did dos. she attend the conference? Uh -huh. The question has to have a specific intonation, right? Did she attend the July conference? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Because you are answering, you are waiting for an answer, right? Did you meet your boss yesterday? And you have this type of intonation, right? Did you meet your boss yesterday? Number four, how will you read number four? Did he pass the test? Did he pass the tests? Very good, number five. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Good, number six. Did, did, it start did it start on time? Did it start on time? Number seven. Did they, did they leave early? early? Did they, did they leave, leave early? early? Number eight. Did he arrive on time to the conference? That's the way, right? You see, the questions are not really complicated, right? Questions are not very complicated. I am not going to ask you about uh, these events because you are going to use this one later, but we are going to go over the last part of, uh, okay, we have another conversation here. How are the things going at work? Hello, Jack, everything is fine. How about you? Just perfect. I want to know if you attended the training last year. We are sending invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Did, have you attended one of these trainings at work, people? ¿Ya han, ¿Ya han tomado algún training en primeros auxilios? No, I didn't. No, they are so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, have you attended a, a first aid training? Yo fui el muerto dos veces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, la parte de las respiraciones. Gracias, ya, ya reviví, gracias. No, thank you. I don't want to do this. It's like, no, nah, thank you, no. Yeah, we, we, we did one with the students, I remember like three years ago, and there was like, like, ¿Quién es el muerto? No sé qué, porque we need to use, we need to know how to use the, la, la camilla, el oxígeno, no sé qué, el oxímetro, los signos vitales. It was so crazy. But, he attended one on first aid and prevention, right? Sounds good. Where, where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. And it says, do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Uh, yes, absolutely. 
most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay, so this type of training was on first aid. What type of questions can you find on this conversation? Give me questions that you find here. Preguntas. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas podemos encontrar? Give me examples of questions. Where did... Uh, uh, no, the questions are there. Just... Was, no, no, where... <clears throat> Let me see. It take a place. You have them here. No, it's complicated. How are things going at work? How are things going at work? Si aquí se las puse, ya solo aquí Don't complicate. <laughs> the next one. How about you? How about you? The next one. Um, you attended training last year. Ah, uh, okay. Let me see. I want to know if you attended. Okay, so in this one, we are missing the, the auxiliary, right? Did you attend the training last year? I want to know if you attended the training last year. It will be a question, right? You are cheating. The next one? The, we are sending the invitations. The, uh, training last year. Um, okay, but that's not cheers. a question. Uh -huh. I want to know if you attended a training last year. Right, but this is an open an open question. We are sending invitations right now. No. The next one is do you, you recommend, recommend it? it? Did you find it helpful? Right? What type of questions are they? If I say, how are things going at work? En qué en qué tiempo caería esa pregunta? Present, past, future. Present. Present, right? How about you? How about you? What type of uh, tense is this one? Present, past, present. future? Present, present, right? Present. Where did it take place? Where did it take place? Past. 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 Do you recommend it? Past. Past. Present. Do you recommend it? Present. Recommend us? It's present, right? Present. Did you find it helpful? Past. It's past, past, right? That is past tense. Good, very good job. So here I have one practice for all of you, okay? We're going to leave these two for uh, Monday. Okay. This example, the one that I have here, is exactly like the one that I sent you today. En este me va a ser para enviarles el juego que les envié en la tarde, right? En la tarde les envié un juego donde tenían que poner El simple past del verbo. Pero ahí se lo di para que ustedes solo lo arrastraran. What is the past tense of meet? Met. 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 With only one E, right? Met. What is the past tense of have? Have. 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 Good. Have. What is the past tense of a speak? A spoke. Spoke. Right? Spoke. Have. Spoke. What is the past tense of go? When. 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 What is the past tense of do? Did. 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 What is the past tense of write? Wrote. Wrote. What is the past tense of send? Sent. 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 What is the past tense of read? Same. Read. It's the read. same, right? But the pronunciation is read. read. What read. is the past tense of see? So. 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 What is the past tense of run? Run. 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 Okay, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten verbs. We have ten verbs in past. You are going to have a little group of people and you are going to create a short paragraph using these ten verbs. En el párrafo tienen que ocupar estos diez verbos. I don't know what you are going to write about. You can write about anything. You can write about anything. If you want to make a conversation, it can be a conversation. If you want to write a paragraph, it's okay. If you want to write a story, it's okay. If you want to write a fairy tale, it's okay, right? If you want to write about your day, explaining and using these verbs, 
that's okay. Okay, <clears throat> you are going to have these ones. I am going to take a picture of them and I will send it to you, don't worry. I will send you the pictures of the past Hi. tenses. Oh, hi, that's a selfie, okay. Mm -hmm. I will send you the picture here. And with your group, you are going to create your piece of writing using these 10 verbs, okay? No diez oraciones solas. Así como, I met Shakira. No, right? You have to create a situation, a little paragraph, a conversation, a story, a fairy tale, a fable, whatever thing that you want to do. But it, you need to include those 10 verbs, okay? Let me see. I am going to send you the picture and I am going to make the groups right now. I am going to have only two groups. Así que van a tener muchas cabezas ahí en cada grupo. Don't worry. You are going to have only two groups. And yeah, seven people on each group. I will send you the picture right now. Okay. And there you go. You have the picture there. Accept my invitations, please. Tell me if you didn't receive the invitation. Eh, Rafael, no le digo la invitación. No, teacher, a mí no me cayó. Ok. Eso yo caigo mal. Ay, no, come on. Ahorita se la vuelvo a enviar. Ok, le voy a enviar la voz. Ok, está bien. ¿No? Jasmine, le llegó la invitación para unirse a los grupos. Ayer conocí al... ¿Quién entró? Lo que pienso congelado. es que podemos hacer eh, mezclar todo a, a partir de... Va, empecemos con alguien. Eh, va, met. Obviamente podría ser el primer uh -huh. verbo, eh, met. Eh, claro, claro. Eh, y a partir de ahí alguien como hacer suyo un verbo y, y adecuarlo, vea. Y lo vamos es que... uniendo a partir del contexto. Partimos, no. ah, el fin de semana pasado hice tal cosa. Ah, yo el fin de semana estuve tal, 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 tal cosa, vea. Okay. Pues entre el otro, ah, yo el fin de semana no hice esto, pero hice eso y así. Entonces, de forma de ir creando un párrafo, vea. Ya, yeah. sí, para de things a story. Ajá. Okay. Si lo queremos Ajá. hacer todo, digamos, cada uno, ¿verdad? o un solo, vea. O sea, 
está bien, o sea, yo, o sea, pero la cuestión es que si hacemos un párrafo cada uno, después no va a coincidir la historia, ¿verdad? o sea, vamos a tener... Yeah. Like, I, I like it when you say, like, ¿quién entró? <laughs> Where is the spy? Uh -huh. I am, and I am the only lady here, come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Quién entró? <laughs> it, 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 is a good, it is a good idea, the one that Nelson is providing, to have, like, an interaction. Like, if you... Uh, let me see, three, six, seven, eight people are having uh, like an, an informal conversation. The only thing that you have to do is to actually put it on writing, right? You can okay. say like, uh, hi, hi, friends, how are you? Right, you know, yesterday I met a uh, teacher Nati, right? She was there in, in Metro Centro, right? With, I don't know, just an invention is like, really? Well, yesterday I had a very busy day. I did, I did this and that. Like if you are creating this conversation between all of you, you can add each of you something, right? That's, I think that's what Nelson was, was wanted to, was trying to do, right? Como que la conversación tiene todos los participantes. Tiene tres, seis, siete participantes y Carlitos que está ahí. Carlitos puede ser el writer. Ok. Bueno. Así que. Or someone can share the meet, screen. Meet the. 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 The last weekend I met the Ricardo Arjona. You met? Did you go I to met, the, I met? I met. I met. You met Ricardo Arjona? Did you go yeah. to the concert? Yes. Ah, oh, I went to his concert like ten years ago, I think. Or I but the previous time that he came, yeah, it's, he's he's my favorite singer. I was my first concert. Ah, what a beautiful thing. I, I love him. He, he has been my favorite singer forever in Spanish. Yeah. I was very sad because I didn't go to the goods. Thank you. <laughs> La envidia entrado al grupo. <laughs> Con permiso. <laughs> Work on your conversation. Ya me voy de este lugar. <laughs> me voy a llorar a la otra sala. No okay. <laughs> Thank you. Work, work, work. In a restaurant, no sé si se, se iría así, si sería correcto decirlo así. In a restaurant, I met. Who? I met. I met with. Uh, What my family? Uh, with family? What is the sentence that you want to create? Hello, everybody. Boo. Hello. <laughs> okay. Our plan is a, a, stor a story about the Thanksgiving celebration in a restaurant. Okay. And we met, and we met uh, with a classmate for, from the first grade. <laughs> Okay, you have yes. a you have a get together. Yes, and there we we have spoken about our childhood. We, we spoke. We spoke. Uh, okay. In we that spoke. case, but in that case, mm -hmm. the verb will be talk. We talk about. Uh, we cannot say we spoke about. In that context, right? Okay. In ese contexto que lo quiere poner, so you say we talk about our childhood. Okay, and you say like we were speaking about. Lo puede hacer en pasado, en pasado eh, continuo, pero ahorita no. Tenemos que hacer algo en past. Uh -huh. Okay. And, so, and, I, sorry. I only write. I only uh, today, wrote today during the Thanksgiving celebration uh, in the in the restaurant. I met I met someone. I uh -huh. use one one verb in in the past. Okay. Uh, I don't know who. I don't know. Who, who is in a computer? ¿Quién, quién de ustedes está en una computadora? Why don't you share me, the screen? I, 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 I write it in. Ah, in okay. A book. 
Okay, you can, I mean, if one of you is on a computer, you can share the screen so you can have an idea of what you are writing. Quizás alguno de ustedes puede compartir pantalla para que puedan irlo escribiendo y lo puedan ir viendo todos. Yeah. Y ahí lo pueden ir corrigiendo todos al mismo tiempo. Okay, but teacher, the thing is, in which contest uh, we can uh, use a spot? Because some, I have um, a little confused there. When you are talking about say, speak, and tell, what is the difference? I know okay. that's that some of, oh, sorry, go ahead, sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, no, 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 it's okay. When you say uh, talk, es como platicar. Mm -hmm. Speak es hablar. Hablar de. Okay, the teacher is speaking, you say. She's talking about the past tense. Okay, it's like the teacher is speaking, it's like, que, como que, shh, callate que la teacher está hablando. Está uh -huh. compartiendo o nos está explicando el past tense, right? She is talking about the past tense. When you say talking about, it's like se está hablando de algo, right? When, when you are referring to something specific, right? She is talking about movies. She is talking about cooking. She is talking about this one. But you say like that the action, the only action that I am doing right now, it's like I am speaking, right? This, the teacher spoke during the whole class, you say. La teacher habló toda la clase. The teacher, uh, in that case, the teacher was speaking during the whole class, right? And she was talking about past tense. So maybe you can get the idea. I can send you the, the definitions so it can be easier for you. Se lo voy a enviar así como les envié ayer la de at, in, and on para mm -hmm. que tengan la imagen mental. Okay, today during the Thanksgiving celebration in the restaurant, I met someone. After some minutes, we spoke a lot of things. Aha. Uy, this is a very nice story. Yeah, it's a love story. Okay. <laughs> what is the next verb? Los pueden usar en cualquier orden. Don't worry. Yeah. Eric, Hernán, what verb would you use after that? <clears throat> Mm. You have went, did, wrote, sent, read, saw, ran. My goodness, do you have all those apps open? <laughs> Sorry. Tiene todos esos accesos activados, eh, Raúl. What? <laughs> Do you, the, all the ones that you have on the top of your computer. Ah, this. Yes. Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mi computadora ya hubiera muerto. <laughs> Ralentizado. No, but, but, uh, this. <laughs> Our our uh, access no bookmark. bookmark bookmark yeah yes so but it, it looks cool yeah but my but, my my laptop will will die in the first week but the bookmark uh, isn't uh, active yeah ah okay okay <clears throat> good right now, just... uh, I only have. One, one tab open, yes. Tab. I saw it yeah. now. <laughs> okay, good. It just got my attention. Solo era visualmente atractivo. <laughs> that you have all of these things. Go ahead. Continue, continue, continue. Today, during the Thanksgiving celebration in, in the restaurant, I met someone, and after some minutes, we spoke a lot of things. Uh -huh. Spoke a lot of things. Uh... We felt bored and we went to another restaurant. Nos aburrimos y nos fuimos a otro restaurant. That sounds good. Yeah. We felt bored and we went to a different restaurant. Who's typing? Raul is typing, I think. We felt bored and we went to a different restaurant. What? What? We felt bored and we went to a different restaurant. Mm 
We felt. We felt. felt. No, F E L T. Felt. No, felt. No. Felt. Felt. Con E. Quítale la. Ah, we felt. Felt. F E L T. T. I don't get F it. F E L T. F no, eh, oh. ahí tenés la F, la E, la L y la T. We felt. Ah, bored. we felt. Bored. 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 B-O-R-E-D. Bored. There you go. We felt bored and we went to a different restaurant. And we went to a different restaurant. Okay, then you can continue. Restaurant. Okay, se fueron para otro restaurante porque se sintieron aburridos. Ajá. Why did you sign the account? Ajá. Solicitaron la cuenta antes de irse para otro lugar. Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just, we just escaped. <laughs> we just escaped. Ah, so you can say, what? Que salieron corriendo sin pagar. You can use run. Okay. Vaya, ahí le pueden poner usando run que, que se fueron corriendo sin pagar. We run. We run away. We run away. Without paying. Without paying the bill. Pain. With pain. Pain is uh, with ing. Uh -huh. Pain con g. Uh -huh. The bill. Bah, ya lo dejo encaminado. You can continue working. Don't worry. The bill. Okay. <laughs> the bill. Uh -huh. It's okay. The bill. Okay. Keep working. Ya, les de, ya, ya quedan encaminados. Ya, ya la historia ya se volvió loca. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Students are going to keep creating their conversations. I will give them three more minutes to do this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> It's me. Did you finish? Okay, not yet. Who is doing it? 
¿Quién está haciendo la, 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 la en general? O todos le están escribiendo aparte todavía. Lo estamos bueno. haciendo aparte cada uno. Todos aparte. Todos aparte. Ok. Maybe one of you can share the screen. So you start building it up. No sé si alguno de ustedes puede compartir pantalla para empezarlo a armar entre todos. Yeah, because we are about to finish. Así ya lo podemos dejar armado. Uh -huh. Magdiel, maybe you can share your screen. Alguien que esté en laptop que nos pueda ayudar a compartir pantalla. Alexander. Alex, are you in the laptop? Oh, Cesar. Ah, thank you, Cesar. <laughs> so, yeah, the translator. Thank you very much. Exactly on my teaching. Ay, it's good. That's okay. What a clean desk. I love it. It's informative. <laughs> <laughs> Él es muy ordenado, como es. Now, César is a technician as well. I mean, they, they are always very neat and clean and everything. César, igual usted trabaja en computadora, ¿verdad? En, en cuestiones técnicas. Sí. That's why, you see. Sí. Yeah, a, a ellos le, les molesta ver el, el desktop lleno de cosas. Si <laughs> sí, pudieran ver la mía. <laughs> yeah, please don't, don't look at No, es que no utilizo este sistema operativo. Tengo dos. Uh, Linux user. Excuse me. <laughs> the MB has entered to the group again. Okay, en este grupo vengo y la envidia me golpea cada vez que entro. Yeah, <laughs> entro ya, yo fui a ver a Arjona, no sé qué, he ido a todos los conciertos. Que no sé qué, que no sé cuándo. Y ahora no, es que este es mi otro computador, teacher, don't worry. <laughs> well, that, that, that's very nice. I am happy because of my students. They are very technological. Okay, so start creating the conversation, people. Who's, who's first? ¿Quién va primero? Who is the first one? José Luis, Ellen Nielsen. Uh -huh. oh, uh, César. Last weekend, uh -huh. did you have a meeting? Did you have a meeting when? Yesterday at work? Did you have a meeting yesterday at work? No, no it's okay. At work, it's okay. No, but the last weekend, the no podemos decir que fue ayer, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. sí, you can no. just invert. invert. Yesterday I met a, a the boyfriend of my sister. Ay, my goodness. Yesterday yeah. I met, I met. I met. Ah, met. I met. <coughs> yesterday, no, sister. I met, I met. I, I, the I, I, I met. Wait, 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 don't, I'm not sure I cannot do it. M-I-T. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, <coughs> yesterday I met. Yes. <laughs> mm, pero ahí sería Len nice Nilsson, vea. Uh -huh. I don't know oh, where it is. Yo, Len Nilsson. Ah, digamos que Len Nilsson conoció al novio de su hermano. To Guatemala for the weekend. Okay. Yesterday I met my sister's boyfriend. You say yesterday I met. El dijo el maestro. Boyfriend. I have a, a complete story. <laughs> oh, Ellen Nilsson has a complete story. <laughs> oh my God. But okay. it's uh -huh. uh, about about uh, my daughter's teacher. Huh. Okay. Good. Ok, Ahí ahí lo puedo ir anotando. Si se va para arriba donde dice opciones de vista. Le puede dar donde dice anotar y le puede dar ahí texto para que usted la pueda ir compartiendo. 
dele arriba de, de, la, de la pantalla yeah. compartida, dice opciones de vista. Y después le da donde dice texto y lo puede ir anotando. Or you can share it and everybody can listen. But Raúl, okay. did you actually meet your sister's boyfriend? <laughs> Raúl Rafael, did you meet your sister's boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, I, I met him. And it was like, ¿Qué tal, cuñado? No, the, the, the guy is very, is very serious. Ah, oh, but that's so nice. Oh, it's so cute. Ellen Nielsen, yeah. share it because we are about it's to... It's more young than it's, my sister. It's younger. <laughs> yes. A smart girl. Good. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what all the brothers say. Um, my sister is more terrible than me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah, if he is more terrible than you, yeah. that's a case. When, when she was a, uh, when she was furious, the the evil uh, said sit and take a note <laughs> yeah the, when she gets angry the devil takes notes you say yeah, ellen nelson tell me the story about your your sister your daughter's teacher okay okay uh yesterday i met my daughter's teacher and we had a little conversation about about uh joy right uh, joy right it's mm -hmm. good that that joy right Ah, uh, 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 okay. The, the trip, you say the school trip. Okay, okay. Uh, and we spoke about the cost of, of about the cost of it. Of it. Of it, uh -huh. Uh huh. And she would she went to look for information about that, about that. And I and Meanwhile, I did an observation and was that the bus was very old. And en, 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 esta, en esta parte, ahorita que estoy revisando, creo que se me juntó un doble pasado porque le puse ahí, we, and we couldn't send, y no puede ser, ¿verdad? No, we couldn't send depending, because depending of, of, the, of the sentence. ¿Cuál es la oración completa? We couldn't send our children on it. Ah, we, yeah. Mm -hmm. In that case, it was like the bus was very old and we shouldn't. In that case, sería, uh -huh. we shouldn't. No deberíamos. We shouldn't send. Because uh -huh. we couldn't, es como que ya los enviamos y ya ni modo. Mm -hmm. right? We mm -hmm. shouldn't mm -hmm. send. We shouldn't, okay. Uh, so we decide, wrote the letter or not to complain us about it. And then we read it. We read and it. Then we read it. We read it. We saw that the bus was a small living, and we ran to stop it. <laughs> oh my god! Well, okay, you have a good story there. You have a good story. So, uh, find a way to put it on writing. Okay, vean ahí como okay. la ponen en, por escrito. I will check on my little kids that are forgotten on the other room. Okay, busquemos la manera de ponerla por escrito y la corregimos. Okay, go ahead. Ah, I met someone after some minutes. We spoke a lot of things. We felt bored and we went to a different restaurant. We ran away without paying the bill. After that, we visited a library and we read a book. And at the last page, I would wrote a post. I would wrote a post-it note, but I didn't have a pencil. So I asked to my friend if she had a pencil. And she, she told me. That ah. she had the one in her backpack. And she told me, she told me, uh -huh. okay, it says, and we read a book. And at the last page, I, I, okay, querías escribir. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to write, I wanted to write on a post-it note. 
in the last page, I wanted, I wanted to write, ahí sería un infinitivo, no to wrote, porque ya tenés el verbo en pasado, tendrías que poner un infinitivo. I wanted to write on, on, on a post-it note, but I didn't have a pencil, that's good. Eh, so I ask, so I ask my friend. No puedes poner, I ask to my friend, but I ask my friend if she had, uh -huh. quítale el tú. Uh -huh. I, I asked, uh -huh, I asked my friend if she had a pencil. She told me that she had one in her backpack. After that, she saw her watch. She looked at, at her watch. Porque lo, lo miró. She looked at her watch. Después no podemos meter el verbo aquí, so... <laughs> ah, bien, ok, ok. You can say, she saw the time. You can say, after that, she saw the time. She saw the time. Uh -huh. And then you continue. Okay. She saw the time. And what happened? Y nos despedimos. I, I say my regard for reading my story. <laughs> I sent my regards for reading my story. And I... Ah, and it was too late. And it was too late. Okay. Uh, we did a good memories. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> we did good memories. Como que hicimos buenos recuerdos, pero eso iría hasta el final, dicho. We did good memories. No sé si se podía hacer eso. Okay. Se puede decir eso. And it was too late. I sent. I sent my regard. Obrigado. No, le envié, mi, le envié mis, mis agradecimientos. No. Okay. Okay, and it was too late. For reading my story. You can say, okay, so ya lo ocupamos, entonces lo pueden borrar. Ya, so ya lo ocupamos. Okay, you can say, eh, eh, I don't know, she ran, oh, she, she went to her house and later I sent her a uh, WhatsApp. <laughs> Sí. Yeah, she she went to her house. To her house and later I sent her a WhatsApp. A WhatsApp. You can say it was a good night and we keep good memories from it. We have a good night. Okay, we had, we had, porque ya pasó. Ah. We, we had a good night. And we keep good memories from it. Okay. Teacher, pero no hemos usado el verbo did. No sabemos cómo introducirlo. Ah, ahí. with did. Okay, does she have uh -huh. one? And let me see. It was too late. She went to her house and I sent her a WhatsApp. And, and you can say, for example, did she answer? No. You can say, like, no, me contestó? No. <laughs> and it was like, hmm. And then you say, but we had a good night. So, like, did she answer? Después de WhatsApp, le puedo poner el did. Okay. Uh -huh. Did she answer? Así como, no, did, did she? Me contestó? Did, did she answer? Did she answer? Y le pone el question mark y a la par le pone no. Coma. But. But we have. Uh -huh. I was like, yeah, no me contestó lo WhatsApp, pero bueno. We had a good okay. night and, and we keep good memories. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> Ya, ya le vine a arruinar la cita romántica. <laughs> Did she answer? No. no but, but we had a good night. And we keep good memories from it. Hey, pero le borró los recuerdos. And we keep good memories from it. <laughs> okay. Sorry for ruining your date. <laughs> I will go and ruin another one.
Okay, my dear students, I was ruining a couple of dates today. <laughs> Solo fui a un grupo a arruinar una cita romántica que estaban escribiendo ahí. Yeah, I send them to the friend zone. That was so sad. Well, <clears throat> fix it up, right? Ya saben quién es su grupo ahí. Arreglen sus párrafos. Because we will use them uh, tomorrow for the... You will send them during the weekend on the WhatsApp group. So, uh, the time it's almost... Well, we are re-over because it's really late. I am going to call the attendance in a very quick way. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present and you can leave. People, finish the platform on the weekend, okay? Terminen su plataforma si aún no la han terminado. Ya muchos de ustedes ya terminaron los ejercicios y los felicito a todos los que ya terminaron. Si aún no han terminado, váyanse ahí a la sección 4, que es la que nos falta. Los exámenes son de multiple choice, así que solo vayan a escoger ahí las respuestas. Eh, on Monday, we have our last class. We have the survey on Monday. We have the platform on Monday. Certificates on Monday. <laughs> Welcome to the friends. <laughs> Sorry. Pero la friends no es tan mala. La family zone. It's horrible. Hermano. <laughs> la loquito son es peor. What is this one? Family <laughs> zone. Cuando le dicen, ay, loquito, le dicen. <laughs> sí, como sos bien lindo en el interior. Thank you very much. Ya lo quito, son. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Ami. <laughs> That's the, the worst. Well, so, um, yo toda seria haciendo. The tendons. I am, I am, I was very serious here doing the things. It was like, amigo. Okay. <laughs> So please, on Monday, try to uh, have everything finished because on Monday we're going to check on, on certificates, on things. So you, you might have something and everything ready. If you need help with anything, let me know because uh, I will be more than glad to help you with whatever thing you need. So my dear class, uh, I'm going to call the attendance. And when you listen to your name, say here or present, and then you can go and sleep, okay? We have many things to do on the weekend so practice a lot okay Aleida present teacher Andrea thank you have okay. a good night Andrea Sofia she couldn't connect today maybe Blanca Alejandra hey Blanquita ah but she was driving <gasps> my goodness Cesar Amaya thank you have a good night Eric Jose Thank you. Eh, Hernan. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. No, he, he's, he said that he couldn't connect today. Let me see, Jose Luis. Present. Have a beautiful Present. night. Thank you, Juan Francisco. Have a beautiful night. Eh, Carla Guadalupe. That she was not here today. Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. Have a good, Have a good night. Bye-bye. Night. Paola Elena. She told me that she had internet issues. Okay. Eh, Rafael Alexander, have a beautiful night. Thank you, teacher. Rafael Antonio, have a good night. Raul Pleasure Ernesto, good bye -bye. Yeah. have bye -bye. a good night. Yeah. Wilbur couldn't connect, he sent a message. Jasmine, we are about to finish. Please stay for a couple of minutes. And Magdiel, have a beautiful night. Present teacher. Thank you. Ellen Nelson. Ellen Nelson, sorry. Have a beautiful <laughs> night. Have a Thank good you one, very teacher. much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, Magdiel. Okay, Jasmine, welcome to your last uh, five minutes of the class. Thank you. Thank you for staying with me in these last minutes. Um, Jasmine, I have seen that you have had a lot of connections connectivity issues. He visto que sí le ha fallado un montón su conexión. Sí, teacher. Incluso hace poco he intentado ingresar. Hoy que estaba en la sesión de grupo uh -huh. y, y me sacaba. Sí, ahí estaba yo poniéndola de regreso en los grupos y todo. Este, y es, ¿usted se conecta desde su teléfono, Jasmine? Sí, desde el teléfono. Sí, porque quizás eso es lo que lo, que lo pone un poquito inestable, ¿verdad? El, el hecho de conectarnos en el teléfono sí es bastante 
inestable a veces y más si se conecta con datos es otro problema. Sí, es con datos. Sí, pero en general, Jasmine, eh, aprovechando la conectividad que tenemos ahorita, eh, estos minutitos que nos quedamos al final de la clase es para consultarle siempre qué le ha parecido a la clase, cómo se ha sentido. Sé que a veces las dificultades de conexión son bien, bien, este, que nos, nos, nos ponen así como nos desaniman un poquito, pero en general, eh, cómo se ha sentido, cómo ha sentido el desarrollo de las clases, el uso de la plataforma, si ha podido avanzar en los ejercicios, porque tenemos que completarla para que también esté como el porcentaje finalizado necesario para que usted pueda obtener también su pase al siguiente nivel, ¿verdad? Sí. Este, pues, eh, me ha parecido muy bien las clases, teacher. Pues, aunque al principio <ríe> sí tuve bastante dificultad, pero este, hay días que sí podía estar al 100 y otros días no, ¿verdad? Pero sí, este, me han parecido bonitas las clases. Este... <ríe> Al participar casi no mucho, ¿verdad? Porque en sí a mí la, me cuesta bastante lo que es la pronunciación Ajá. de las palabras y todo eso. Este, pero sí, he puesto, he hecho un poco de esfuerzo. He avanzado en la plataforma también. Ok. Incluso hoy estuve este, con un link que usted envió al grupo. Ajá. Eh, los ejercicios que aparecen ahí con ah, el tiempo okay. y la sí. sí, y bien bonito los juegos y todo bien. <risa> ok, okay. Uh, yeah, I am always doing my best to find ways for you to practice. Yo siempre les ando buscando maneras que ustedes practiquen, que ustedes sigan desarrollándose a veces como con, con cositas básicas, con cositas chiquitas, pero sirve un montón el hecho de que ustedes se sigan desarrollando. Igual les compartí un enlace el día de ayer para audios, para que sí. ustedes puedan, puedan practicar eh, con los audios hay audios para nivel súper básico que les pueden servir un montón, en tu caso que por ejemplo mencionas que la pronunciación te cuesta mucho, eh, los puedes utilizar puedes utilizar los audios eh, para practicar ¿okay? también tienen los scripts, está el audio está la, la, todo el, el escrito del audio para que lo vayas practicando al mismo tiempo. And that can help you a lot with pronunciation. So, sí. <clears throat> try to practice, right? Try to practice a lot. Try to practice the conversations from the manual. Try to practice the conversations that I share in class. You can watch the videos of the class. Maybe if you didn't have connection uh, during the day, you can watch the videos of the class, okay? Puedes irte a ver los videos de las clases, las que, por ejemplo, no pudiste estar para que tú también vayas refrescando como el conocimiento y, y puedas, pues, estar como al día con todo, ¿verdad? Sí. So, eh, en la plataforma, ¿hasta qué sección has terminado ahorita? Este, iniciando la última sesión. Ok, trata de terminar la, 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 todo lo que resta el fin de semana para que el lunes, sí. que es nuestra última clase, ya lo puedas tener todo completado, ¿verdad? Okay, uh -huh. so uh, that's the, that's the most important part. I am very glad that even with the difficulties, you are here, you are constantly here listening and everything. So try to continue practicing. If the pronunciation is the most difficult part for you, try to practice, try to do it uh, all the time and, and it is going to help you advance, okay? It is going to help you advance. And if you need any extra help, si necesitas otra ayuda extra acerca de otros temas o cosas así que te, te estén costando ahorita, no dudes en enviarme un mensaje ahí en el grupo o a, a mí personalmente. Y yo con mucho gusto te puedo colaborar con más material para que tú sigas practicando. Ok, Gigi. Ok, Jasmine. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for staying. And I hope you have a very beautiful night. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Have a very good night.